So let's say you're walking along one day when suddenly you see an alien spaceship that's crashed and the inhabitant jumps out and he says, hey, what do you guys do here for a good time? And you can't really think of anything, so you're like hockey. So you take him to Roger's place and he doesn't really know what hockey is, but you're going to show him a good time. And he looks at the building and he says, so is this hockey? And you say, no, it's not hockey. It's called a hockey arena. It's where you play hockey. They're kind of the same, but they're not the same. So then you go inside and you figure he should probably get a jersey so that he'll blend in. And he says, hey, is this thing hockey? And you go, no, it's not hockey. It's a hockey jersey. It's the what the hockey player wears, but kind of the same. No, it's really different. So you get inside and then you sit down in your seats. And he looks at the ice and he sees Connor McDavid score an amazing goal. And he says to you, hey, is that little black thing flying through the air there hockey? and you go dude no stop saying everything is just hockey it act that's a hockey puck there's differences here pay attention to what's going on that's exactly how i feel when people say the word gravity you see when people say the word gravity sometimes they mean one thing but they just say gravity anyways and there's so many different things that have the word gravity in them in physics sometimes it's easier just to say gravity but we really should be more specific I think most of the time when people talk about gravity, they're probably talking about the force of gravity. You know, that thing that pulls you down when you fall, the thing that makes the, the ball fall down to the middle of the ground. Force equals mg, force equals g m1 m2 over r squared, force of gravity. That's the force of gravity, it's not just gravity. Take a look at those two equations. That first one, force of gravity equals mg. It's not mass times gravity, it's mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Remember the acceleration due to gravity? That was negative 9.81 meters per second squared. We didn't call that acceleration just gravity. It has to be called the acceleration due to gravity because there's a difference. Think about that other equation. F equals G M1 M2 over R squared. It has a capital G in there. That G isn't gravity, it's the universal gravitational constant. We have to be careful when we're talking about these different things. The words we actually say make a difference in our communication with other people about what we understand. Then we get into gravitational fields. We're talking about more arrows here, and it's easy to call these little arrows gravity. But these are gravitational field lines. They're describing something different from just gravity. So next time you are going to think about writing down an answer to a question or you're talking about what's going on, try to pick your words carefully. See if you actually can distinguish between all the different types of gravity that you want to talk about. If you can do that, I think it's going to make you a lot easier of a person to get along with, especially if you're someplace you haven't been before and you're trying to have a good time.